Warning, this video may contain graphic content such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Unfortunately, YouTube won't allow that, so we'll try what we can. Please be over 18 to view this video, and don't say we didn't warn you. Endlessly searching for an original scene. Welcome back, everyone, to Death Mark. Now we're going to be picking our partner today. We're going to take Mo Watanabe with us. Now I have no idea if this is the right choice or not. Of course, I'm doing it my own way for this run at least. Let's see, do we want to talk? Choose whether to bring Lady Mo or Lord, Su or Lord Tsukasa with you. A large group will increase the odds that you are being detected by spirits. And do not waste time dwa dawdling. dwaddling. It is, impos it is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to, min to a minimum. Okay, so we have that. Let's head out. First, we have to get to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use the car in the garage. The garage is detached from the mansion. The vintage model vine, van and bicycles only accent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car keys were left on the table. Time to go. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, according to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks at me suspiciously. Don't worry, it'll be fine, I think. It'll all come back when I take the wheel. Part of that is to convince myself. But aren't you missing your license? If a cop finds us, we'll have more to worry about than Hanahiko. She's right about that. But our lives are on the line, so we don't have much of a choice. Once the mark's gone, I'll remember. Then I'll just have them reissue it. Assuming I ever got one. Huh. Now I'm even more worried. Just drive safe, okay? Let's see. We want to go to Age Elementary. Human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hand touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than I expected, and it's now easy to guide this monster down the road. But now, thoughts of what I can no longer do start to filter in my head. Hey, mister? Mo pipes up hesitantly. I probably let the silence go on too long. She doesn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to, to lose your memories? That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once? Or a few pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but... I have no idea if it's getting worse or better. I don't know what it w I was like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare to. In that sense, other than the memories vanishing, it's like everything's been painted white. That's what it feels like. You sure are mature, mister. You take everything so calmly. I gotta move my mind. The conversation dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires on the road. Put some music on. Then thoughts start popping into my head again, one after another. I know we have to check out that mirror, but what else should we... What should I, but what else should we investigate? What do you think? Mo glances over at me. 
No idea. I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Aw, please. I'm really counting on you. Think whatever you want. I'm talking to a child. I need to show restraint and be a good example. But that's definitely how I really feel. I stared down at the steering wheel. The doll in the mansion. Mark Barons. The Mark Spirits. And the mysterious deaths. I feel like I'm going to be buried alive. Buried under all of the crushing thoughts that keep popping up into my head. What awaits me down this dark road? I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to warn me. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can sense it. That death is closing in. If that's happening, isn't the problem anymore. It's more how long do I have left. How much longer is it? Hmm? I almost yell, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. I, uh, I, I think we're almost there. Really? It's closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. At any time, it could... It's a lot closer than you'd think. Looming ominously in the moonlight, the school definitely looks abandoned. For quite a number of years, in fact, the walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A thick chain is in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Chotto, chotto. Hey, you there. Not another step. The enthusiastic voice comes from a man in a guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. This probably belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside, didn't you know? Or oh, are you up to something? A bunch of people have been coming here and dares since it's haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? Let's see. It's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors are saying anyway. It's a giant pain. Mo nods in agreement. It is pretty famous, after all. The guard sighs. Anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here, so please leave. You know. Okay. Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. As we watch him leave, Molly leans over and whispers. Damn, there wasn't a guard when I snuck in here before. We better not get caught. Move around a haunt. Okay. The map shows which way you're facing and where you can go. Head to the entrance. Pushing open the door as I head inside. Whoa! Whoa, it's so dark. We can't see anything like this. The moonlight doesn't reach inside well. We'll just have to use the flashlights. But if we use the flashlights, that guard will find us. Can't can't do anything about it, I guess. Anyway, that mirror is... Hmm, I'm pretty sure it's the right one on the staircase. Okay. Shine the flashlight in the area. And press A. S ends the search. I probably should set up my um my keyboard and or my uh controller. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to move outside. No, I didn't want to return to the fu I. Ah, it's very touch sensitive. I really should get the controller.
A flyer contains warnings and a list of contacts. Do not leave handprints in the mirror on the eastern staircase. Thank you. Independent research presentation. First floor, mul multi-purpose classrooms. Come check it out. Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror on the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Guess we'll go there first. Yeah, it's to the right. A half-torn poster. It says lost and found in large letters on the top. I touch the paper. It disintegrates the second my fingers re reach it and scatters through the air. Nothing else looks interesting. Lost items are kept in storage in the staff room. Please check there if you're missing something. A battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. There are platforms of broken wood slots, slats in front of the shoe rack. They creak when we step on them. there's anything here. We went to the right. Huh? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. I turn on the flashlight to find. Aw, a bun- er, Aw, a bunny! It's so cute! Was it the school pet? It doesn't look friendly. The black rabbit squeaks and runs away. It rushes toward the eastern end of the school. Aw, it ran away. Is it telling us to follow? <laughs> yeah, right. Probably actually is. New info has been added. It's a spirit file. Black Rabbit. Doesn't look like there's anything. It looks like something smashed the fluorescent light. They are shattered beyond repair. Entered the room on the right. I'm curious to look around a bit more. It's an abandoned desk. I turn the desk around and stick my hand inside. I got a holy hard hat. Holy hard hat. I doubt that's very useful. The dust is so thick on the ceiling that just walking around causes a shower of particles. forward. A broken window is letting in a piercing cold wind. The door is locked. So we can't go that way. Oh, we saw that one. The first door is rusted shut and won't move. Climb the stairs. This is it. It's the mirror I saw last time. I'm sure of it. Huh? Just then, a dull pain runs through my wrist. Like something is biting into my skin. To distract myself from the pain, I keep talking with Moe. It certainly looks normal. Yeah, what should we do? Let's see. Let's try feeling it. I face forward and silently wipe the gray mirror with my hand. As expected, I can't make anything out. All I see is my own shadow reflected as a vague shadowy lump. My shadow sways in the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. I figured the shadow moved because I had. 
But the next time the shadow moves, a cold shiver runs down my spine. That's not my shadow. Something is in the mirror. Hmm? Moe yelps and steps back. <coughs> well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There really is something in there. Every muscle in my body locks. I try to look away, but I can't close my eyes. The figure's mouth twists. I don't want to look, but I can't even close my eyes. It opens its mouth. An odd voice pierces my ears. Live or die. <laughs> Wrong. Uh oh. <sighs> hey, how may I have that red stuff? I can't see well. Are you a grown up? I'm getting all wrong choices, aren't I? Yes. Well, you should go get a guide. Big people aren't allowed in school. Huh? Suddenly, the mirror cracks. <sighs> cracks? No, I can't see. No more big people here. The figure disappears. Survived. A scream echoes from the other side of the school. Mo sinks to the floor. They gasp in panic disbelief for a while. I feel much of the same. What? What was that? That was probably... Anahiko. I couldn't say it. The words stuck in my throat. My mouth is completely dry. I think we didn't save that guy. Oh, I can't believe this. Uh, I thought I wanted to see a ghost. But to see one that clearly? Mo seems to shake the encounter off and returns to normal. Anahiko's words swirl in my head. Our situation has done a complete reverse from what we were just moments ago. I can't believe I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Oh, uh, anyway. That scream, what was it? The guard we met outside. I doubt there's anyone else here. He might have seen something whatever, wherever he is too. It sounded like it came from the far away. A ways down the hall. That would be the other side of the school. Yeah, well, let's go look for him. But if he screamed like that... Something might have happened to him. Right as I responded, I hear someone whispering in my ear. Purify with red. I look in the direction of the voice. But all I see is darkness. Mister? No, it's nothing. Um, uh, let's go. New info's been added to Spirit Flash. Hanahiko, the boy in the mirror. We climb up the stairs to the second floor. Huh? I feel something soft squish under my feet. I quickly pick up my foot and shine it down. Shine the light down. The hallway is covered with poisonous snakes. Mo lets out something close to a shriek upon seeing them. Eh, snakes! We decide to go back to the landing. Nope. Ooh, the controls are something I've got to get used to. A 
bird cry breaks the silence. I guess there's a crow somewhere outside. Kid, you apparently really like us. So this game is actually available now on PC, which is the one I'm playing, and on Switch, and I believe on PlayStation 4. But I don't find anything in particular. Nothing there, huh? Looks like it. Let's, uh, let's end and let's keep going. Oops, that one. Rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and damp. The light on the ceiling are silent and dark without power. Enter the room on the left. There's a hole in the wall. I stick my arm in, but the hole gets narrower and the further in I go. Can't reach what's inside. There are nonsensical scribbles on the blackboard. Wrong button. I've got to get used to the buttons. It's an abandoned desk. I stick my hand inside and feel around. I got a plastic bottle. There's nothing in the bottle. Well, it might come in handy. Let's back it out. Now again, I don't know if we actually need any of this. It's just good to have it. I hear a noise like something slamming against a door. Is someone inside? I shine the flashlight at the door. Ah! Out of nowhere, the door bursts open and something comes flying out. Eee! Mo shrieks and falls down. I recognize those clothes, some kind of plant covering half of his face. Hi, uh, hi. The part of his face we can see is twisted in anguish as he screams. No doubt about it, it's that guard. What the hell happened? <laughs> Thorns are eating my face. It hurts. What's going on? Uh... I sits on the floor, stunned into just syllables. The guard suddenly rushes towards the entrance. And then, silence falls once more. The only sound left is that of our shaky breathing. Once we catch our breaths, I take Mo's hand and help them up. Our nerves have calmed some, but that definitely left an unsettling impression. Something terrible lurks here. We can't just sit around. I left. I felt like I was paralyzed. I'm okay now. But mister? That guy? Oh no. Mo stares at the door. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder... Did, did Hanahiko do that? And... and I, I don't know if you noticed, but I got the feeling someone was standing behind him. There really, there's really no good way to respond to that. I let the silence serve as my answer. What else could I do? No point in coming here. We're just going to stand here shaking. If we don't uncover the secret before it comes for us. Why don't we check out the staff room? I tactfully avoid answering Moe's question. The guard had run out of here. Something might be inside, some secret about Hanihiko. Yeah, you, you're right. Let's, um, 
Let's just be careful, okay? I covered my wrist with my palm, making sure Moe doesn't notice. That moment, I put my hand on the knob. The mark burned my skin, pulsing along with my beating heart. New info has been added. Plantified guard. Well, guys, I think we'll actually find out what happens next time in our little investigation. See you guys then.